back to part three. I hope they're all keeping very well. Um, part three of this wonderful painting. Let me show you what we're doing. Now, um, I'm in my kitchen. Here is the painting so far. Uh, I added some colour to the book here. And I must do a bit of work on this. Okay, I must put some nice shadowy colours on that. So, uh, this is my setup. Okay. I have a table easel with this big board mounted on the easel which I can then stick my palette and my painting and a reference photograph there um, so I can kind of fit everything onto the one board, it's very handy. I'm using my phone today to record so here's my phone ready and waiting on this kind of an easel thing um, so I'm going to use that today because it's much better quality indoors using my phone here okay so um that's the that's the situation um i have a nice clean palette clean tissue with some turpentine and some brushes okay so uh that's it let's go and finish this wonderful painting i can't wait to get it finished it's going to look stunning um so let's do a bit of work on the books and Let's call it finished. Let's have a bit of fun. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think when it's finished. Um, do send me your pictures for uh, critique, um, as they say, or if you want advice or anything like that, just email me or ask me in the comment section below. All right, let's go and have a bit of fun with this. Get your stuff and uh, let's get cracking. Okay, I'm going to take a nice flat brush, the one I used the last time. Um, it's a size six, okay, or your medium stubby would do just as well. So I'm going to take this now and I'm going to start. I want to do a bit of work on this book. I'm not quite happy with the book yet. Um, I'm going to crack on and do a bit of shadowing over here. So let me just dampen my brush, very damp and dry it. Then I'm going to take some cadmium yellow and I'm going to take some cadmium red. Okay, I'm going more for red in this, okay, and it's orangey red. Let's take some of that, and I'm just going to... Now, this is completely dry, okay? Completely. So, my layers only need to be very thin. This is almost like doing, like, a wash um, over a dry canvas as much as it is painting. So, I'm allowing the colours underneath to come through just slightly. It's a very thin mix on my brush look, and I'm just going to bring that very lightly over the canvas, all right? Over that book. Now, I'm going to go up like this at an angle. You see, I'm giving it a very light coat just over that page there. You see? And then I'm going to darken it as it goes back to the back. So I'm going to take a little cadmium red, and perhaps a hint of cyanide, and I'm going to just darken it over on this side up here. And I'm going to soften that colour through as it comes down. Look, I'm barely touching the canvas when I'm doing this, all right? I'm hardly touching it. You see? Now I'm gonna go even darker. I'm gonna take a hint of burnt umber and some crimson, okay? Burnt umber with crimson. That will give me a very dark, rich, pinky, kind of a reddy brown. And I just wanna put that color, I need a bit more red in this. I'm using tiny touches of colour, okay? And I'm going to just bring that darker colour. And I'm going to go even just along the edge as well. So, that's looking good. I'm going to put another dark line across here. I'm going to take a little hint of black and some crimson, okay? And with that, I'm just going to go like this, look. You see? Just to give the effect of the, kind of the shadow, the shadow of the handle is hitting the page at the same time, you see? And a little bit darker up there. Now, that's the first part of it done. I'm then going to just start lightening ever so gently. Now one thing I did notice is that we lost the side of the book here, the side of the pages. We lost that in the drawing. That's just the way it kind of worked out. 
Um, I didn't realise until I got there that I was after the book should be a bit small or really shouldn't it? But it's okay, it's fine. Let's we can we can work with what we have. Um, you know, it's okay. Let's just take some yellow, some cadmium yellow, I'll take some of the orange, and I want to just put that slightly lighter colour in just around here, okay. Like that and then I'll give it just a little bit of white with some cadmium yellow just where the light is really bouncing off the page okay and I'll soften it upwards so now you see that's not bad now is it and what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to dampen my brush ever so slightly okay and I'm going to take some cadmium yellow with some white and I'm going to, in fact, I'll take a hint of cadmium red as well. Just a hint. So it's a warm colour. And I'm just going to put that on the edge of my page like this. And then I'm going to start adding crim... I'll, no, I'll add some cadmium red to it as I go, okay? Because it's not a yellowy colour, it's a warm kind of a yellow so cadmium red with yellow will make that very kind of warm peachy sort of a colour. And I'm going to just go with that. I want to give the impression of that light catching the page of the book. You see that? Now it needs to be a lot more on the pinky side. I'm going to try some cadmium red with crimson and some Naples yellow. And what I'm going to do then is, I'm going to start adding this warm colour. It's still a bit pinky. I'll take some cadmium yellow in this. I'm going to start warming the page ever so slightly. I'm putting this very light colour now on over the colour that's there, okay? It's only a very thin mix, so it's not going to show that much. But it's just enough to warm it slightly. You see? It's just enough. Now a bit more yellow, I need a bit more yellow on this page here because I want to give the illusion of the light just coming across, bouncing off the page and catching the front of this page here. Does that make sense? You see, it's just catching it. Now I know that looks, on camera, it looks a little yellowy. If you want to warm it, let's just take a little crimson and we could just add a little bit of crimson very thin colour over that. That may help give it more of um, a warm glow, won't it? And we can do the same with this one here. A little bit of crimson into that yellow. Warm it ever so slightly. Soften it in. So that's a little bit better now, isn't it? And I said I wanted to darken up here because that's that's still not right. Um, I'm going to take some alizarin crimson. Now, if you feel it's too wet, just dab your brush on some tissue and go back into your colour again. Um, some cadmium yellow, some Naples yellow, uh, some more crimson. Then I might take a hint of burnt umber. So it's really more a mix of burnt umber and crimson. Okay, with a hint of Naples yellow mixed in. And it's a slightly warmer colour. I think it's just a bit nicer. And again, it's a very thin mix, so it's still going to let the colour underneath show through, you see? It's not completely covering the entire page. The, the colour of the page completely. Now there we go. Um, I will add another bit of a bit of grey colour. So some some lamp black, little crimson. There's too much on my brush now because I just want to work in very thin layers. Okay, really really thin layers. So some lamp black, some crimson, and some Naples yellow. 
that'll give me a nice warm kind of a pinky gray okay I'm going to just put that out on this side out here and soften it across. And I'm going to do the same down in here, okay? Because I want to create the feeling of the the page turning I'm creating the curvature of the page that's actually what I'm doing okay I'm trying to create that feeling of the page turning and it's just all about darks and lights and how you use those darks and lights now let me just step back for a second and take a look at this okay that's not too bad could soften it back in a bit you think it's a bit too strong um, I might add a little bit more of a lighter color to the page as well this will take a bit of time but I want to do it nice I want to get it right so I'm going to take some Naples yellow some crimson Naples yellow with crimson and I might just start putting that color on just to lighten the page just a little Maybe even go over there. That's quite a nice colour. I like that. Uh, I might go up into the middle of the page as well. I'm putting a slightly thicker mix on than this now, okay? Okay, that's a bit better. I'm going to take the same. I may lighten this as well, just the same, all right? just a little bit sort of in the center of the pages right that's good that is good now I'm going to take that same mix with a thinner mix of that Naples yellow and crimson and I'm going to use that color to just finish some of these pages here let's go a bit stronger with the color a bit more crimson a little cadmium yellow And this one will kind of soften in there, okay? And a couple more down here. Now, I think I'll leave that for now as it is. And I might do a little bit of writing on the page with some very pointy brush. I'm going to use a very, very small pointy brush, look. I don't know if you can see that. Really, really pointy. And I'm going to suggest some writing on the book. Just with some of this little grey colour that we had earlier. It doesn't have to be black. And I'm just going to be careful. I want to put just the impression of some writing across on the page, you see? It's just an impression, that's all. And it can be a sort of a hit and miss type of thing. It doesn't have to be ab absolutely perfect. You could write some writing on it if you like. Um, write your name or something like that. Just to make it more personal. Or write a nice little quote about a family member or something. That would be nice. But it's just a quick representation of some writing. That's all I want to kind of achieve in this. You see what I mean? Just... A couple of little squiggles here and there. Just to suggest. Okay? Now, maybe add a little bit more to this. 
make it a little more prominent. And moving on to the next one below, the next book. The one below is, um, I'm just going to go with top here first. I'm going to do a nice warm colour for that. Some crimson, some cadmium yellow, some naples yellow. And the naples yellow will make this nice and sort of pasty and creamy. So it's perfect for this. So I'm going for a nice warm peach, an orangey kind of a peach for this one. But again, bear in mind, I have that colour of the burnt sienna underneath. So I'm trying to allow for that. So let's make it a bit more on the red side. And I'm going to have to mix up a good bit of this now because that canvas is, I won't say dry, but it has a very rough grain, this, can, this canvas. Okay, and I'm going to just add some shadow in here. And I'm going to soften that colour sort of into the yellow colour I just put on. Just to soften them together. Then we come down to this section. I'm going to make that nice and dark, nice and rich. Cadmium yellow, crimson. So cadmium yellow and crimson. And I'm going to give it a little tiny bit more crimson in this. I'm going to give it a little burnt umber, okay? Just a hint. And it's just a tricky kind of a mix to get right. Let me take some more crimson, maybe a hint of Naples yellow. It's a tricky mix to get right. Um, with that burnt cyanide being underneath. Let's go down like that. And I'm going to fill that in all the way across. And I'll come out here like so. And I'm going to add more yellow to this side. So cadmium yellow with some Naples yellow. And I'm going to start popping some yellow into this side of it here, just to reflect the light, soften it in. And I'm going to make it darker on that side, so I'm going to take some lamp black with lots of crimson. And I'm going to soften that through here. Lean down and kind of flick it outwards, okay? So we have a nice shadowy side over there then. Then we have a nice shadow being cast from this book here. So I'm going to take some burnt umber with crimson and I'm going to create a nice shadow of that book coming down like that. And then like this at the corner. Okay. I need a bit more crimson. Let's take a little hint of the crimson there. Make it nice and warm, nice and rich. All right little shadow popping down and it's going to get much darker then up inside just at the very tip up there okay it's going to get really dark just up there and soften it down then up here i'm going to make that slightly darker as well i'm going to use some of the same color it's interesting to kind of see all this coming along isn't it 
soften it across in there to that. Okay? Now, how was that? Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my small pointy brush and just pop a couple of detailed lines in there with some of that blacky brown kind of color, okay? Now, I want to get the center of the book first. Let's just pop the center of the book in like that, just for a reference. And then I'm going to pop in a little dark line up there like that and suggest one or two small little lines just like that okay you see and I'm going to pull them through the shadow as well And you see, what I'm going to do then is do the very same with some lighter colour. I'm going to take some Naples yellow with some white. And here in, you see, I'm going to just pop a couple. And maybe even suggest a couple of highlights just catching some of the pages here and there. Look. You see? Do the same with this one here. Just a suggestion. Then take some black and some crimson again. I'm going to go over to this side and I'm going to suggest some little lines in here. It's only just a suggestion, you see, that's all. Then I'll darken the centerpiece. And we will then have, because this is the center line, we'll have another dark piece um, going up through the book. So these are other pages which are opened here, you see? And you could even soften it outwards. Like that. Okay. Now I want to catch some highlights on some of these pages here. Very subtle, just a few subtle highlights, that's all. I go to another flat brush, a slightly smaller brush. Um, okay, I'll get this one here. And I'm gonna just take some highlight, go along here. Okay, so we have a lot done so far, don't we? I'm going to just suggest the corner of this one over here, okay? Some Naples yellow and some white. And I think, you know, I think it needs, I think it needs just a little suggestion of the front of the page here, okay? The front of the book, rather. Look, albeit just a very simple kind of a suggestion. And then this dark corner over here needs a little suggestion as well. And that's going to be quite dark. I'm going to go for some burnt umber with crimson for this. And maybe even soften a bit of black into it here and there. And I might even soften some of that colour through the page. Just so that it's not a solid line, okay? Very gently. There. So how is this looking so far? Let me, let me stand back and take a quick look at this. Yeah, that's quite nice now, isn't it? Now I'll move on and do the book down here, I think. This book down at the bottom. And... We can just work on details later on, then we can get the details finished at a later stage. 
Let me first just put a little dark line through here, as that's the shadow. And I might lighten that just a little there. Let's go there, strengthen that just a little. Okay, it's not bad. This book, let's do this. And it's pretty much the same process, almost the same process. It's just the colors that you need to change only very slightly. So let me just go into some titanium white. I get some Naples yellow. Um, I get a little crimson. I don't want to put it very, very bright because it'll stand out too much. So let me take a hint of the brown color, kind of a gray brown. And I'm going to start with this color. We can always darken it, don't worry. I'll just start with this first. And I can work some darks into this then. And get some of those warmer tones. All right, this comes over, kind of disappears into that book, doesn't it? And this piece comes down and disappears into the darkness. Um, so, right, let me warm the front of this. I guess some yellow with a little red. Pop that nice warm color in here. You see, I'm just kind of blocking in stages for now and I can, this goes up, it's getting dark, isn't it? So I'm going to go right up in here first and we can darken it then for the shadow. I'll take a little of the crimson with some of the yellow and pop that in just here. And I'm going to go very dark for the front of this. I'm going to go cadmium red, some crimson and a little of the yellow and perhaps even a hint of burnt sienna. Just fill that in. So it's all just about, for me now, just locking in these colours first. Then you can start adding warmer colours to it. Um, gets a bit darker here, doesn't it? Let's darken it right down. Let's get some burnt umber, some crimson and a little black. Okay, gets nice and dark over here. Uh, a bit more of the crimson. So I'm, I'm, I'm adjusting it as I go. I'm just adding little hints of color if I feel it needs more color. So a little more hint of crimson, for example, and I can see then it looks a little better. Um, and what I'm gonna do then is take some of the crimson as well and soften it through this. So the idea is that these are not two completely different colors. Okay. Then maybe take some of the lighter color and soften some of the lighter color through this. Like so. All right. Now, does that make sense? And what I'm going to do then is go for an even darker colour just in there. I'll take some black, some crimson, and a little cyanide. And I'm going to just soften that darker colour. Follow the direction of the pages, look. And that makes it more believable, you see? It does, doesn't it? It just, it does something. Now I'm gonna switch my brushes. I'm gonna to go to a slightly smaller brush and I'm gonna add some shadowy color to this. I'm gonna take some cadmium red, um, a little cadmium yellow, and perhaps a hint of burnt sienna. And I'm gonna give that, um, I'll actually put this at the front of the page here first, okay? There's a bit of a glow at the corner there, it's very nice. 
and then go over to even a bit more cadmium red then we have a nice strong shadow don't we I'm not going to put black in there because it'll go green okay so I'm going to use crimson with burnt umber first so let me just go um, down like that look little wiggle there we go so it's following this shadow you see then I'll take my pointy brush and I'm going to suggest a few small lights first so a couple of lights there like that just some of the edges of the pages okay and I'm going to go through that dark with some orange as well and then I'm going to get some real dark color some blacky pink kind of a color and I'm going to suggest some lines in there in the shadowy side um, so you can see it's coming together quite nicely now isn't it uh, then I'm going to take some of the pinky colour and suggest some darks across the back of the book here. All these pages. And I'm going to take some of the rich orange, put some of that at the back here as well. I'm going to get some of that blacky colour again and go over here, suggest some dark maybe even a bit of burnt umber it's very very dark on this side isn't it okay is this starting to make sense um, I want to Put a nice bright there a nice rich very rich bright so i'm going to take some cadmium yellow uh, with a little cadmium red and some white and i'm going to pop that bright color just on the edge here okay and i'm going to put a very rich orange then with some cadmium yellow and red on its own uh, just at the edge here okay so it's giving you the impression that the warm light is just going around the corner of the book you see and a little there as well okay I'm going to soften some of that lighter color on the page okay I'm going to just soften it a little bit with some warmer color just some of this soft peachy color that we had earlier I'm going to soften that in here and soften it across okay just gently and I want to darken in here with some of that pinky grey kind of colour soften that across and the next important step is I want to soften all of this out into the darkness alright now first of all let me just put a little bit of a dark colour in here to separate the pages in the book here okay And then, before I go any further, I'm just going to put that dark in the centre in here as well. This side almost disappears into the darkness of the book on that side, doesn't it? Uh, put a bit of dark there like that. Then, I'm going to take a slightly bigger brush. Okay dampen that brush and I'm going to take some burnt umber 
with a little of the black and I'm going to first of all fill this in and take a bit more black in this I'm going to soften it out here first okay it's a thin color now it's very thin all right I'm soften it up and out then I'm going to soften all these colors in here okay and that will allow everything to sort of fade out into the darkness you see that and even up there now let me stand back and have a look okay that's okay I'm go along now and soften this out and I know you can see a bit of a shine on the canvas. That's just from the light coming in the window here, okay? You won't see this when it's dry. Scrape it across. Look, soften it across. And just give it a rub around with your fingers. Merge it all together, okay? I'll take a little black, um, let me see now, a little black and a bit of cadmium red perhaps, or even crimson, and I'm going to put that nice rich colour out here, I'm going to soften it across, and this may take a few washes to cover all of this, But you get the idea. Right. We have a little bit of a tablecloth, don't we? I'm going to do first, um, let me see now. I'm going to take my flat brush. Now, don't worry about that for a moment. I'm going to take my flat brush and I'm going to mix a nice warm pink. Some crimson some cadmium yellow and some Naples yellow a little bit of white let's go a bit more cadmium yellow in this nice warm pink and I'm going to just very loosely put in the outline of that then it goes over here and gets really dark doesn't it so I'm going to go into some cyan with crimson and it disappears into the darkness then you see and let me just fill this in with that lovely color you could use a very bright whitey pink if you want I'm going to use something neutral to kind of I suppose complement the rest of the painting so I'm going to use very similar colours throughout the painting. Does that make sense? And those colours will complement each other as you paint along. I hope you understand that now. Let's go under here. And it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because it's a tablecloth. We're going to have lots of little details in this. Well, I'm going to suggest lots of details. I'm not going to paint lots of details, but I'm going to suggest lots of details. You'll see in just a moment. And as it comes over, it's going to get darker and darker and darker. And it's going to sort of disappear out into that darkness again. Okay. Soften everything together. You see? It just sort of disappears out then, doesn't it? Soften it away out. Let me take a look at this now and see how this looks. Now I know that book is very bright there. I'm going to dull that down just slightly with some light, the same colour I have on my brush, which I use for the tablecloth. And I'm just going to use that to 
soften that color down just a little okay it's a little bit bright that's better um, the next thing I'm going to do with my tablecloth is I'm going to put some nice dark colors in underneath this here and there okay let's just suggest little touches of shadow here and there under that and a little piece there now i'm going to put some black on my brush right very watery black paint and i'm going to go around the tablecloth and just suggest um little little touches of see little details that's all there could be little holes and you know just a little decoration on the tablecloth that's all and you can take your time with this now at home you can put all the work you like into this take really take your time Um, I'm just putting a suggestion of it, that's all. And you could even dab it along with your finger as well, look. It's just to create um, a little texture on the tablecloth, that's all. That's all I'm going for, is a little texture, okay? You see, just a suggestion. And I'm getting to the books then, I'm going to put a nice dark colour in under there. I'm going to soften it out. There we go. Okay, then. I'll get some darker colour up in here. And we're going to have a darkness as well from the lamp coming across. So I'll just darken it in there a little bit more. Okay. Then I'm going to take some lighter colours, perhaps some Naples yellow with a little white. Um, Actually, do you know what I will do? Looking at the picture there now, I will take some cadmium yellow with a little cadmium red and some Naples yellow and pop some light in here and there on that tablecloth. Give that some of that nice rich warm colour. Okay, just dab it in here and there. And you can even just dab it along then, look, just to soften it all in together. Again, just creating some texture, that's all. Pop a little bit there. It's all just being very loose. That's all it is. I'm just trying to be nice and loose with this. That's all. And down at the corner here where this is very rich and warm, I'm going to give that a little bit of a punch with some red, some yellow, just where the light is really catching. You see? Soften it outwards. You don't have to go to all this trouble now if you don't want to. But I just think it might give it a bit of a lift. Okay. And my friends, one more thing I need to do is put some writing on that book here. Let's put a little scribble 
across that. Suggest some little writing and I'll put a little in here, a little darkness there. See, you could go on and on and on with this for as long as you like. It's completely up to yourself. But to be honest, I wouldn't spend too much time at this. I'm going to soften this out very slightly because that's a very harsh line there, isn't it? Soften it out just ever so slightly. Uh, let me stand back and take a look at that. Isn't that nice? Now I'm going to darken some of these. They're a bit bright for me still. They're just not quite right, are they? So I'm taking some of this orangey colour. I'm going to put some of that orangey colour on there. Soften it. Just go right over everything, over the darks, over the lights. That will really... Soften that colour down. Then I'll take maybe a little hint of cyanide with cadmium red and put a hint of that in there, just inside, and a hint of it there. And I might put a hint of it just at the back of this book. Perhaps a hint of it down at the back of this. You see? Everything is kind of merging together nicely. It's creating a lovely kind of an atmosphere in the painting. Then I'll take some black, lots of turpentine, and I'm going to just suggest a couple of fine lines here and there. I think this turned out pretty nice, didn't it? For a study which I wouldn't normally paint. I normally wouldn't paint something like this. But I thought it might be fun to try because I just love these types of colours. I loved classical, the classical type of painting. Um, putting hints of colour here and there, suggesting to the viewer, telling the eye what's going on without having to do too much detail. Do you understand? Um, just letting the viewer fill in the blanks. That's what I say all the time. Let you fill in the blanks. Um, that means I've done my job relatively well and you can see what it actually is. Let me take a look. Now, my friends, I think I'm going to call that finished. Actually, what I will do is, um, because I want these to sort of disappear out into the darkness as well, I'm going to just darken those. I'll get some crimson, some black, and a little hint of sienna, and I'm going to just allow those to, this is a very thin wash now, okay? Just allow them to sort of disappear almost into the darkness, okay? I think that might look a bit better. Okay, I'm calling it done. You could just leave this or you could fill this in with something else if you wish. Um, should we fill it in with something? I don't know. Let's put a very thin wash over this. Let's go with um, a black a crimson. And then that will allow the brown underneath to show through. And that will give us a nice colour look. A very thin wash. Letting that burnt umber show through underneath. You see? Just quickly like that. That's all you need, my friends, really. Rub that out, leave it all disappear into the background, into that lovely, dark, misty background off there. Let it all disappear, okay? And the next thing I'm gonna do is sign it. I think this one will definitely be hanging somewhere. Um, I go down here, look. Stephen, a bit more turpentine, Conway. And I'm going to zoom in here now if I can, because I'm on my mobile phone, so let me see if it works. Um, I'll try and zoom in and show you up close. Ah, and there we are, my friends. Isn't that lovely? 
Oh, there's one thing I forgot to do. I have to fix the edge of this. Let me just get some dark color, some of that blacky brown color. And I'm just going to carefully sharpen the edge of that handle there, okay? And there we are. Job done. Isn't that lovely? I'm very happy with how this turned out. You could, if you wanted, continue that orangey colour, maybe up a little bit more even. Um, but I leave it at that, that's fine. And there we go. Books with a light. And I love the orange glow there as well. Isn't that just fantastic? So let me turn the camera here now. I don't know, I can't see this camera now, so I don't know what you can see, okay? So I hope it's okay. Uh, let me just fix it. And there we go. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I'm holding that with my hand. Um, it's been a pleasure. I really, really enjoyed this. Um, I'm so happy. I don't know if you can see behind me here, actually, all those balloons. It's my anniversary today. Uh, me and my wife are married 17 years today. Isn't that fantastic? I'm still happy. I'm still smiling anyway. So that's a good sign. Um, so big celebrations here today. But I really wanted to finish this. I just was looking at it day after day and I just really wanted to get into it and finish it. So I'm glad I did and I'm very happy with the result. I hope you like it and I hope you got some hints and tips from it and a little bit of inspiration at least, if anything else. Um, so thank you so much. Do subscribe if you haven't done so and you can pop over to Patreon where there are lots more tutorials for you to watch um, if you want to support me that way so pop over and take a look see what you think um, so look thank you so much for watching uh, and tuning in uh, you know it's probably a little bit more on the difficult side for someone but you could just take one or two um, little parts of the painting and just make a little painting out of that if you wish uh, do try it because it's really really a lot of fun learning as you go so um, God bless and happy painting. I'll, be, I'll see you again next week. Um, God bless and thank you so much for your support. It means a great deal to me. So I'll see you next week. Happy painting.